Hello and welcome to a new platform in Flying Upload. Printify has arrived. Many users wished it as an alternative to Printful as Fulfiller. Now it's here and in this video I will show everything from creating a template till the finished upload. If you are here just for a specific um, upload process or creating a template or something like that, just look in the description. There are timestamps and you can search for the thing you want. I would say we begin. When you have opened Flying Upload, then we have here already this design and this is a design we want to upload and we will publish it to all available um, platforms. So first what you do is go to options and settings and click on templates. Now here you will see Printify and the options you have for eBay, for Etsy and Shopify. We will do it step by step. So we begin with eBay. And if you already work with Flying Upload or especially with Printful, you will probably recognize that because it's very similar. So these are the settings you can make or have to make. So the first thing we need for eBay, for example, is we need the store name. So you can go to your stores on Printify and you can see here, this is my eBay store, for example. And this would be the name. So you can copy that, go to the tool and enter this one. The next thing is you can click here on add and start to add your template. This is the name in the tool, so you can name it like you wish. So for example, this is my black shirt. Then we have this here and then you need the Printify template. I already created here a template, but we will do it together. So, you know, you go to catalog, then select the image or the product you want. When you've done that, you can choose your printing service and then you can add here your design. I will do exactly the same like I already have. So, and when this is done, you can select here the colors. In this case, I want darker colors, for example. And then of course you can also position it like you want. This is what the tool uh, takes from your template for the next upload. So and when you have done this, you can click on save product. And this was it more or less. Your template is created and you can choose this name, for example, to um, yeah, um, edit or to create it in the tool. What you also can do is click here in Printify on edit listing and then you can name it like you want and set the settings like you want. So we, I would say we go through it um, in the tool. So for example, when this is my black shirt, I enter this here and then I save it one time as draft then the title will also change here and it's now up to black shirt. So, and now we do it step by step. So first we need the template name. In this case, it should be my black shirt. You can add this here. Then you can select here the image view. You can, when you here click on edit listing, you see this. So here is the image view. You can select the front or the back. In this case, we want of course the front. The product name is a t-shirt and you can click here add to title. So the title plus the product name will be written during the upload. We will do this. We will have the English language. We um, wanna save it not as ref, we wanna publish it. Of course, publish in store. Then here you can see these are grayed out, these fields. So this is not um, necessary for eBay. You can't configure that. That's why you can't click it. Simple like that. And here, not for color or not for type. So from the edit in the tool, when your design is edited for the color black and men and women, for example, 
and another design is uh, but is um, edited for white instead of black but this is of course your black shirt so only designs with a black background should be uploaded here so you can for example exclude the color white because you just want the designs uploaded with a black background and also in this case colorful so types are all available or should be available so no problem okay perfect and yeah this is the creation of the template then you can click here okay you can control it of course yeah the black shirt is in um, all settings are set and yeah then you are ready to upload um, a quick view back to printify we um, selected here the image view because the image view is not taken by default by the template so this even if I said black the uh, or back when I copy this to create a new one it will be back to front so you have to change that all the time and this is also why this is a specific template field in in the uploader and the other things like product description and so on will be added then of course your pricing you can also set here you set here your pricing once in your initial template and the pricing will then be transferred to the other listings new listings you use this template for for example this should be 90.95 and display free shipping if you want and publish your product to your ebay store um, the tool will do this automatically because you enabled this and then you can save this here as draft well because this should just be the template and then the black shirt here is ready and then we do the first upload for ebay don't worry if you watched it till here of course etsy and shopify are very very similar and it will be a bit shorter the explanation we also don't uh, will create a new template we just will take one i already created so in this case we selected the shop then now the black shirt we entered in the tool will be selected and this listing will now be duplicated and with the duplicated information the new design will be transferred So you see here, this is the copied listing and now the tool will start to yeah, switch and change everything to the new image or the one image we have in the uploader. Of course, you can do this with 10 or 100 designs, whatever you like. And of course, you can also create more templates. So we just did the black shirt now, but you can also create a, a mug. You can also create a cap, for example. So you have like two or three of them or as many templates as you wish and then upload this all at once and as I'm speaking here the upload is already finished so the upload process itself is is very simple you know the main thing is creating the right template and you see the upload process itself is, is very quick and very fast it's um, yeah it's in the end just one side where it has to edit the information and where it has to change the picture and it's now getting published so this upload is ready and finished and i can't edit the listing now because it's published now i can and just that i give you a quick look so the front of course is selected because we uh, enabled this in the settings window in the tool and also new title new description has been added and the retail price is also taken by the template yeah and this display free shipping in this case we haven't enabled it and it's also disabled here and yeah then it was published to your ebay store because i enabled this in the template window so you see basically the tool takes everything it can from the template you give him and the settings that it can't take because printify doesn't allow it or change it changes it back automatically you can simply add in the template window and yeah, this is it. So this was the eBay upload. Next would be the Etsy. So we do the Etsy one and you see here, I already created a Mac 
So we will do it this time with a Mac. I go back to the settings. I go back to Printify. My eBay is finished. So I do Etsy. And then it's exactly the same process. So you take the name of your store, edit it here. In this case, it should be my black Mac. Then the name of your Printify template you want to use. For the image view, you can go to the edit listing and see here again the image view. So you can select the one you want. For example, this here, yeah, this looks fine. We take this one. Also, Christmas is already over. <laughs> and in the product name, it should be a Mac. English is fine. It's also okay, we publish it. Shipping profile is something um, special just for Etsy, but no problem when you scroll down here and you um, selected your store, uh, you, you, sorry, you can go here to publish and then here this fill, you, you have to click here, publish product to your Etsy store, but you will recognize it when you do the, the template and then you can see here the shipping profiles. When you disable it, you, you see no shipping profiles. When you click on it and you're ready to publish, uh, it will appear. And then you can create a new shipping profile, but if you already have uploaded something or created something, you can click here and yeah, take the one you want. I have here the, the Printful templates already. So, you know, I take the Printful one. You can also leave it empty then a new one will automatically be created, but it's a unique name. So it will be a shipping profile for every product. So it's a gesture or recommended that you um, use a template from you, but you don't have to, so a shipping profile. And yeah, when you've done the shipping profile, it's exactly the same. So it's a black mark. So I don't want anything with uh, color white or, or color colorful. I edited in the tool. And yeah, then I'm finished. I can save here. And I can upload to Printify again. Of course, I uploaded this already, but I want to do it again. And then you see that more or less exactly the same happens. So in this case, now the Etsy store is selected. In this case, the Mac is selected the Mac template and you see here I have here an image on my left and my right and the tool can handle that so it knows okay hey here are two images and it saves the position of the two images and will upload now the new one and exactly um, do the same so it has the same position so you can also work with uh, not just one image in the front or left or right so you can have it left and right like you want or also just a single image whatever you want for max and then our profile comes in play so the new or the right view was elected, the shipping profile is entered and you see this was already it. So again, very simple, upload was successful and the Mac was published in our Etsy store. And then we have one more, it's the upload for Shopify, for your Shopify store and it's exactly the same. You already know the procedure by now. You go to Printify, you we select the Shopify one and then we begin like always. I go back here, this is easier. So we have the name. This is my black cap. We enter the template name. We can here again select the one we like. For example, I want the basic one in this case. It 
it's a cap and it should be added. Language is okay. Publishing should be in store. And in your Shopify store, you can create collections. I have none, but you can, for example, when you have a shirt collection and a cap collection and a hoodie collection, you can adhere the collection name. Uh, you can see that like the shipping profiles when you scroll down and you click here on publish again, then this little uh, extra field will open where you can select the the um, collection when if you have collections but I have none so I just leave it empty and when I've done that again I just want to have my black one so everybody everyone else is included all other colors and yeah template is finished we go one last time to the start window click OK and then we see a Shopify upload. So you see the three different store options we have, three different very common products, I would say. Also different ones, not just shirts, hoodies, and a, uh, a sweater or something like that. Really a marker cap and a t-shirt. So it will be selected again, it will be copied again, data will be changed, and then the upload will follow or the publishing. For caps, this is embroidery, so um, you can't change the position here. Just to let you know if you wanna upload caps. Then the sizing table will be added, description will be added. and then it will also be published. And again, a successful upload. And this is everything you need to know. You can now create a template on Printify. You can now configure it in Flying Upload and you can now upload successfully. So everything is shown and published in your store. If you like this video, Give a like if you have any questions, you can always ask in the commentaries. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can subscribe for other videos about print on demand or tutorial videos for flying upload or flying research. And I see you in one of the next videos.